You get mentioned in my name. We don't like what you say. I don't give a fuck. Y'all can suck my dick. Keyword research. All right, guys, so once you find a topic that you want to talk about, find out as many addressable keywords as possible that people are already looking for in Google and YouTube. Now, where the passive income is going to come from is in your blog post. You're going to have your affiliate links. You're going to have all this stuff. And um, Google and YouTube are going to send you free traffic to the point where in the future, you know, they're going to still send free traffic. The eyeballs are going to go to the offers and the affiliate commissions are just going to get automatically sent to you when the offer that you're promoting automatically makes the sale for you okay now you want to find out the keyword volume basically meaning how many people are searching it um, on a monthly basis I'm gonna include links in the description below uh, but basically the main ones are Google Keyword Planner where you set it up with Google it's literally simple type in Google Keyword Planner they're gonna try having you spend money on ads you can literally just like skip that or maybe make a test ad and then just um, once it's live literally turn it off right away because they technically still have to review it so when they're reviewing it you just turn off the ad and then use the Google Keyword Planner tool which I'll show you in a bit or the SERPs Keyword Volume tool where um, I will show you as well so here we are in um, the Google AdWords right here in my AdWords account all you have to do is go to the tools and then hit Keyword Planner and this is exactly what shows now for example me I really want to talk about uh, fear of failure because I actually sent out a survey to my audience and I was like, well, what's everyone's like biggest like challenge and everyone has the fear of just failing. So I'm, I'm going to go talk about that fear of failure. Okay. I'm going to go search and then maybe even get ideas for how many people are actually searching for this. All right. So from this one keyword alone, 1 million to 10 million people a month actually see this. All right for overall just fear of failure and uh, here's the search terms actually it's uh, oh this is in total for all the ideas okay but for fear of failure alone every single month there's 10,000 to 100,000 people that are searching for this term so if you could kind of rank a post and have like 10,000 free visitors every single month looking at it at your blog post and then look at your affiliate links think about the passive income you can make okay so these are all of the lists that we want to check out then from there you want to find a keyword with volume less than 1000 if you're in the beginning literally less than 1000 search words or search volumes a month because um, any more just too highly competitive so you want to find something that's less than that and you could build from there so for example here these are all kind of pretty competitive and don't look at this competition this is just for uh, bidding on keywords you don't have to worry about that um, let's look for something less than 1,000. This is good. Overcoming fear of failure. Uh, so this doesn't look like too competitive. I'm going to probably use this as my main keyword for the new blog that I'm going to go post and send to my list and to my audience. Then from there, I am going to type this into Google and to buzzsumo.com for successful blog posts with that keyword. And once I'm there, I want to write down what I liked about all the blog, blog posts and areas that I could improve on. You know, things that I liked and things that I could improve on. So here I am in Google. I put in overcoming fear of failure. And I'm going to start looking at all of these um, things that I liked and I didn't like. You know, I'm just going to start opening them. What about the title that I liked? Um, what about the content that I liked? And I, I'm literally going to create a list of things to kind of give myself, you know, inspiration on what to start. So over here, you know, there's causes of fear of failure, signs of fear of failure. Okay, that's kind of cool. Um, he talked about Richard Branson, Warren Buffett, Michael Jordan. Maybe these are some good examples I could include. Um, talks about how to overcome it, analyzing it, learning from it. Okay, so those are good ideas. I'm going to open up a Word document. And I'm going to start recording all of these ideas. Same thing here. Uh, this is reframing. Okay, these are just like little um, ideas that you can use for yourself. And then BuzzSumo is similarly like the same thing, except the difference with it is it shows which is the most shareable on um, Facebook, on Twitter. So you can see what about these titles and made this so shareable. And then do the exact same thing. You want to really analyze each one of the posts the positives and the negatives and write it down so that when it comes time for you to write your post um, you know exactly what to do